You probably heard of Louis Vuitton if you haven't been hiding out under a rock. Louis Vuitton has cemented its place as one of the most illustrious brands in fashion history with its instantly recognizable monogram, sense of style, and designs. Hundreds of thousands of individuals actively aspire to own or purchase Louis Vuitton bags in order to treat themselves to a high-end brand that has been in business for more than 150 years, regardless of their age, gender, or financial status. Thus, the question is, how did Louis Vuitton become so well-known? Please keep watching to learn how this prominent company developed over the preceding 15 years to become so well-known and in demand. One of the most iconic luxury companies in the world, Louis Vuitton is famed for its exquisite leather products, storied steamer trunks, instantly recognizable monogram handbags, spectacular watches and diamonds, and cutting-edge clothing. French fashion designer and talented artisan Louis Vuitton founded his own company in Paris in 1854. Napoleon III's wife, Impress Eugène de Montejo, sent Louis Vuitton a trunk order early in his career. He established his own handicraft business at Four Row Nouveau des Capucins when he was 33 years old. Here, the cornerstones of his successful company, Louis Vuitton, were laid. Around the time Louis Vuitton was founded, the main sources of transportation were steamers, boats, and horse-drawn carriages. Because to his exceptional artistic talent when making trunks, Vuitton produced flat-topped stackable containers that were impermeable and as light as a feather. Louis Vuitton trunks continued to be highly sought after and uncommon because to its characteristic single lock systems, unbreakable spring buckles, and monogram emblems. After his father, Louis Vuitton died in 1892, Georges took over the business and four years later, the first canvas with the LV monogram, quarterfoil, and floral pattern was displayed. The famous monogram pattern is still there and continues to represent rich travel, elegance, and flair on Louis Vuitton apparel, jewelry, and handbags. Coco Channel asked for a bag. In 1925, when Gabrielle Coco Channel asked for a custom handbag, she learned about Louis Vuitton which was quickly becoming a recognizable brand known for superb craftsmanship and outstanding designs. She gave her approval for the bag's mass production in the 1930s, which marked the beginning of Louis Vuitton's venture into more reasonably priced luxury leather goods. The Alma is the name given to that bag today. The iconic Kipal from the 1930s, Audrey Hepburn's Speedy 25, the No Bucket bag from 1932, and the Papillion bag with a cylindrical shape from 1966 are a few examples of great handbag designs. The founding of LVMH Moet et Chandon and Hennessy, who made champagne and cognac, joined forces with Louis Vuitton in 1987. The primary conglomerate, LVMH, was created through their merger. The almost 3 million transaction allowed the business to expand and include a lot of new luxury brands. The Maison's influence was greatly increased by the merging. Thanks to its iconic handbags, cutting-edge, ready-to-wear, 
collaborations with Takashi Murakami and Mark Jacobs. Taking over as creative director, Louis Vuitton became a leading fashion brand starting in the 1990s. Beyond apparel, bags, and luggage, Louis Vuitton expanded its product portfolio in 2000s to include jewelry, sunglasses, shoes, and perfumes. All of these products pay homage to the business storied background and love of travel and design. The Neverfull Tote, which debuted in 2007 and is brilliantly constructed to hold up to 200 pounds of weight, is one of the Louis Vuitton's most famous purses. The Neverfull, one of the most recognizable bags in the world, doubles as a chick travel tote and a chick city bag. The Late 1990s American fashion designer Mark Jacobs joined the group in 1997 as the design director. Under his direction, Louis Vuitton entered the ready-to-wear industry and Jacob transformed the company from a well-known producer of luggage into a major force in high fashion. In addition, he unveiled the first collection of Vuitton jewelry which was based on a charm selection. Fine and expensive jewelry were both introduced in the 2000s. A gradual transition into fine jewelry began in 2004. And a further transition into high jewelry began in 2009. The company's current artistic director for jewelry and timepieces is Francesca Amphitheatrop. The two petal diamond cuts, which are unique to Louis Vuitton and symbolize the monogram of the trademark, were given copyright protection by the company in 2009. The legendary motifs are prevalent in both of the famed Louis Vuitton jewelry collections and the rare and exceptional colored gemstones of their high jewelry creations. Pink jadeite and pink gold, white diamonds and white gold, and the company's well-known padlocks are expertly paired in the fine jewelry locket series. The elegantly crafted sun and star collection of fine jewelry, which gently embellishes stunning items with diamonds and pearls, draws inspirations from the company's well-known emblem. Louis Vuitton jewelry masterfully combines an extraordinary past with a modern touch, from theme charm bracelets and necklaces to monogram rings inspired by the Maison's leather goods categories. Both the company's diamonds, which are distinctive and classic, and its purses are sought after. The most valuable luxury brand in the world, Louis Vuitton, embodies exclusivity, relatability, and magnificent beauty. Just a few of their products include well-known monogram purses, historically significant steamer trunks, famous jewelry, and ethereal scents. What is the secret to success? Louis Vuitton doesn't engage in marketing. Instead, they concentrate on creating exceptional products with excellent craftsmanship and a lifetime warranty. Each bag, wallet, and belt are meticulously handcrafted by Louis Vuitton. Free product care and cleaning are just the start of the post-purchase services which genuinely set the brand apart from the competitors in its sector. We sincerely hope you had fun viewing this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe buttons on our YouTube channel to receive notification of new intriguing videos that will undoubtedly expand on what you already know. We appreciate you watching and hope to see you on the next one. Thank you.